Hi, I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. This video marks the beginning of a new installment. It's actually my second installment on national security affairs. The first installment um, was national security affairs in general, specifically what I'm going to be discussing in this installment is, is going to come completely out of this book. The totality of the lecture comes from this book, so if you're interested at all in national security affairs, it's going to be national security affairs and the role of intelligence. Um, I might do some historical analysis. You guys know I love reading history, but I don't really do a lot of historical analysis in my, in my lectures, so I might skip over the, the history bits of the CIA and such, blah, blah, blah. But I gotta vibe it and see if I feel like doing it. We'll 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 see. Today is December first, two thousand and twelve, um, and I'm going to spend uh, a substantial part of this month dedicated to this book in this lecture series. My goal is for the series to be no less than about thirty hours in length um, to make something meaningful, a very meaningful contribution. This book is actually really really good. I got the book a couple months ago and. I started to nibble, as you can tell, there's some nibbling. I haven't fully eaten it yet. Right? I had an appetizer in this book, and I, and I have corresponding notes that discuss the reading. So I have like 30 pages of notes to get warm, but that will grow, as you guys know. And uh, hopefully this, is, hopefully this is, is good. So go ahead and get the book. The first video in the series links to this book. So get this book. I'll be reading from and referencing this book. The nature of the analysis, again, is National and Homeland Security Affairs 2. Um, we're going to be discussing intelligence. For those of you who are watching my videos for the first time, let me just give you an idea of my approach. My approach is to introduce the information as if you did not have content expertise in the area. So, a general discussion, and as we progress, I'll complicate the analysis with more jargon, with more conceptually dense, conceptually rich information. And, uh, you know, this is the first day, first installment. I did these notes about two months ago. So this is the first time I'm actually looking at my own notes um, in two months. But in the next week, in the next few days, once I get back into the reading, and I'll read a good hour, two hours, maybe three hours a day, every day from this book, I'll be able to sort of conceptually map everything that I've read, and as we get deeper into the lecture series, in terms of hours, it'll get more and more advanced. So the beginning is always the first few hours, maybe zero to five-ish, maybe eight-ish hours sort of intro. I mean, this is going to be a 30-hour lecture series minimum to begin with, but as we get deeper, um, I'll assume that people who are still with me after 20 plus hours, and you guys know I do 20-hour lecture series like it's nothing. So, you know, and I'm not, you know, it's just a fact. Um, once we get to once we get to like 12 12 ish hours I'll be completely immersed in the text I'll be completely immersed in my routine and I will uh, progressively get more more abstract and my my uh, my lecture presentation will just be more complex I might even now that I'm thinking about it um, I might even I was doing an advanced um, political philosophy lecture series which was actually rather fun I haven't done that in a while and since it's somewhat related, I might in conjunction do this lecture series and I might resurrect the the advanced um, political, I don't know, remember what it's called, so -so socio-political theory, blah blah blah, some blah blah blah, whatever. So I might do that in conjunction with this series and sort of oscillate between the two. We'll see. I gotta vibe it. I just, it depends on how I feel. Uh, and that's it. No more talking. I'm tired of talking. Enough talking. Time to go to work. So um, that's that. If you are watching me for the first time, click the link in the description field. It'll take you to the PDF. Download the notes. Make sure you check the notes every time you come back. So if you come back, if you watch this every day, or if you watch this, you know, a few hours a week, make sure you check the PDF to, the, to make sure that you have the updated notes. Not only in terms of you have the most current number of pages, but sometimes I go back and I make minor revisions in the existing pages. So just make sure you have the, the updated notes. Click the PDF. Um, download it to your hard drive or print it out. I wouldn't recommend printing it, printing it out until the series is done. Um, 
just because I change the notes so frequently. Uh, and that's that's it. So again, National Security Affairs 2, uh, Topics of Intelligence. The book that you will need is this book. Please don't don't watch this series without buying the book, right? I'm not I'm not here um, I'm not here promoting the purchasing of books um, because it's not something to promote. It's something you need. You have to have the text, right? If you sit here and listen to me and you don't have the text, then you're just going to regurgitate what I told you, right? So it's essential. I mean, the reason why you guys are watching this and not watching a comedy skit on YouTube or watching some entertainment bits is because you guys are the type of people who want to learn. You girls too, guys and gals, I mean guys in the gender neutral sense, right? Y'all, <laughs> I'm from the South, y'all are the type of people that want to get knowledge and um, you know, don't, don't fake it. Don't just say what I say, get the book, hey, that's Campbell, but you know, I got the book with you and you know, on page this, when you said that, my interpretation was this, I think you're wrong. Oh, wow, crap, that's great. I could be wrong, you know, because I'm a human just like you. Get the book, no question about it, get the book. I'll be referencing that when I need to. All right, so um, National and Homeland Security Affairs, I'm just going to abbreviate this NSA. No, actually, let me write, no, nah, nah, NSA, I'm going to time write all that down. National Security Affairs, Intelligence. NSA Intel. <laughs> that, that makes it easy for me. This is going to be section one. For those of you, as you get along, I have, it took a while to organically construct the system, but the way that you can follow along is um, if you look on any of the videos for any of my series, the more recent series, uh, there will always be a section title in the corner and you can cross-reference that section title with the section in the notes. It's here. It says that little double S sign. Section 1. So you'll always be able to sync the notes with the section in the video. It just makes life much, much easier. It facilitates a more complex learning community, which is what this is all about. Let's begin. Alright, so general objectives for this lecture series. This is the general stuff. I want to give you a um, a layout of the land, right? What my intent is, my intent is, <laughs> my intent is rather manic as always. My intent is just to put as much information out with a little bit of time that the universe has given me on this planet. So that's the intent right there. Number one, to assess how government agencies provide, quote, security related information to policymakers. One of the main tenets of this lecture series, and you'll see as we get, um, as we get deeper into this series, is to understand one, right? The assessment of how government agencies provide security related information. Right? Security related information to to whom? To the policymakers. This security related information, um, for all practical purposes, will be clandestine in its nature. It will be secretive, the compiling of the information, right? And that relationship will go to inform policy, right? Now, again, I am not, I am not a member of the intelligence community. I am a civilian, so I approach this information as a civilian. I approach this information as an individual who is um, who has access to this book, and I'm absorbing this content information like any information I do absorb at any time. I am currently um, my position at my university. Part of my job function is I'm the director for national security affairs at my university. And part of what I do want to do is promote, obviously, the amount of time I'm putting into this. This is not university affiliated in any sense, my lecture series per se. But part of my, part of my uh, agenda and the general framework with which is motivating my action is to promote national security affairs information. I think there needs to be a broader discourse on the topic. Uh, and it's an emerging discipline. It's becoming an emerging, emerging discipline. And I want to lend credence to the discipline by, by making a meaningful contribution, as always. That's always the intent, right? So that's part one. 1A, 
We'll do this by analyzing the existing process. 